Yo, this is my disclaimer right here. You heard? If anybody's wondering why I'm doing this, why is there anything playing? Why is there any music? Why is anyone talking? This is my disclaimer. Just read the screen, you heard? Hey, that's my disclaimer. I was sent this to do this. You heard what I'm talking about? And if we locked in, ain't no switching up. You already know what it is, man. I'll let you know. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This is Megalodon Mentality. I am the big, big shark, Lamazra. You already know what it is, man. What's going on with y'all, man? I seen Basil Champ say, welcome to Detroit. I couldn't start the music behind the music, so I had to say a little bit of something, man. My bad about being late. I was just pulling up. I had to get my shit together, twist up so I could pipe up <laughs> and fuck my lungs up with smoke. Fuck, you know what I'm talking about? That's what I had to do. I had to do it. I threw it in the chat. I say, hey, just give me a minute. I'll be right back with you. And I'm right back with you. So don't be mad at me. You heard? Oh, 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 yeah. We got them erotic photos revealed today. Oh, yeah. It's erotic photos in the book. It's fantasy fictional, made up Wayne Paris stories in the whole now. We're going to deal with chapter one, man. That's what we're doing today, man. Hey, and I might even have a special guest coming through to talk to y'all. So be clear. We're going to get to it. You heard? This is how the show do it. And my guy, Basil Champ, said, welcome to Detroit. And when he said that to me, it's always time for me to say this to you. Welcome to Detroit, motherfucker. Watch a nigga do a dab. 
These pussy niggas wanna see me dead Since by the nine, I done had a ticket on my head I kill shooters, tell that nigga get his bread back Hey, swim the gang, I send that nigga head back Whoever said that love begets love was wrong I'm from a city where blood begets blood It's love sick niggas mug, that ain't bugs and cuffs That's choppers for that loose talk, I'm coming plug you up Pussy, push me, I bet he never see another day Top at your face, bet you never see another pay When I get to shooting, this motherfucker get out the way Zero to a hundred, my baby, it ain't got no delay Real Yeah, you know I'm here. I'm back at you. Shh. Watch your mouth, no dissing me. You know we all saw it. You know what I'm talking about? What's good with y'all? How y'all be? Peace to the 5% nation of God's and earth. Shout out to my beloved Justice Allah. One time for Morgan. Wow. One time for Maurice. Wow. And another time for my baby. You already know what it is. That's Savage Angels, man. You heard what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good, man? I got it in front of me. Y'all ready for the review? Y'all ready to review this thing? Huh? Y'all ready to talk about this beautiful gangster? Uh, always remember that. See that? O always remember what she wrote. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? I shouldn't start in no specific order. I should start in no specific order, man. You know what I'm saying? It says, no, sale of this book without front cover may be unauthorized. If this book was purchased without a cover, it may have been reported to the publisher and unsold or destroyed. Neither the author or publisher may have received payment for the sale of this book. In the event that the portrayal of the best, what to say, the events are portrayed to the best of Tanya Taylor Briggs memory. While the stories in this book are true, some names and identities, some names and identifying details have been changed to protect the privacy of the people involved. Why would you need to do that? We're gonna start right there. Why would you need to protect the names and shit of the people involved and shit? You know what I'm saying? Why would you need to do that? I thought this was about you and Poe. You know what I'm saying? You didn't say Misa's name. You didn't change Misa's name. You alluded to the fact that there was a, mo a mogul's wife that was being dealt with on the other end or whatnot. I don't know. I don't know. I got the cover, though. I got the cover, and I got the author's, you know what I'm saying, signature and everything. You know what I'm saying? I was authorized to do this. I was authorized to do this, man. Say hey love, this is the table of contents, hey love, all that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. I see somebody say they copped the book. Who that lady ruler? Lady T, what up though? Gang in the building. You know how we rock. You know how we rock. Lady Ruler, I would love to have you on screen. You dig? I would love to review this book with you on screen. Since you say you got it, I'll take you to be a woman of your word. I'd love to have you on screen to review this book. You know what I'm saying? Rather than ask your opinion in the audience. But I do I do want to know what your opinion of the book is. You feel me? This right here, this is the hey love part right here. You know what I'm saying? This say, um, I have to say it again. Thanks for being, thanks for bringing so much joy to my life and being exactly who you were meant to be. The legendary Alpo Martinez, a man who walked in his truth with no apologies. Thanks for all the good times and nonstop laughter. You are truly a unique individual. Ah, she called him unique. She said, you are truly a unique individual. There will never be another like you as long as you exist. And that is until eternity. Love you always, Miss T. Got a picture I'm standing in the project hallway, what I take it to be. You know what I'm saying? In my project. You feel me? Now, a comment. Let me let me see if I can get it to my YouTube studios real quick, man, before I... A, a great comment from a supporter of hers and mine, a, a, a solid Team Alpo member, a Pro Life aficionado. 
commented in my last video, man. Let me see if I can get into my YouTube studio. I wish I had enough time before this broadcast in order to paste her comment across the screen or whatnot. But instead, I I'm going to read it off for you guys because it's a great comment. It's a great comment. And it also shows you how folks is thinking about her in her hood, in her project, around the way. You know what I'm saying? Since everybody want to talk about where I'm from and this and that and other, what I pay attention to. This comment is from Straight Boat. It was made 10 hours ago. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show it to you. This is my YouTube studio. I know y'all ain't going to be able to read that. But just so you know, I ain't capping. You feel me? Or whatnot. I'm showing it to you. It says, was going to support the book. But my people told me that it wasn't nothing. That it wasn't nothing to it. Just that she was a part of his harem. And she's being disrespectful toward Misa. That's the first thing I thought when she started talking about her sexual escapades with Alpo, uh, going into detail about what he'd done to her, her to him, uh, uh, showing pictures, like I said, erotic pictures in the book, photographs of her in the shower, him in the shower, them in the shower, whatever the fuck ever. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wow, there's some wild, disrespectful shit, especially, especially due to the fact that Gene Dale said that DJ K Slate Gene Dale said DJ K. Slay had told him about Misa. Damn near soon as Poe got out of jail. He said Poe told him him and Misa was kicking it, but K. Slay had been told him a long ass time ago or whatnot. That means he was he was messing around with Misa, you know, damn near immediately after he came home. You may as well say, this is my own assumption right here. I wouldn't know better without talking to Poe himself, Jeannie Dale, or K. Slay. Or Misa. You feel me? But assuming what Jeannie Dale says is true, he's been messing with me since his damn near came home. Now, you're going to come out with this erotic novel about a dead man talking about all the shit that he did to you, the nooks and crevices and crannies that he's been through on your body and you hoard his and this and that and the other. Man, how do you think that make her his fiance, the woman he was going to marry? That's why I said in another video that she was trying to one-up him. Well, not one-up him, one-up her. Me said that is. You know, you mention these names, that name, this name, but then allude to the fact that it's her and then tell stories about how uh, uh, you snuck up on them and shit. And, 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 you know, it was an awkward moment because you snuck up on them and this, that, and the other. And he was really mad at you, even though he was with her because you was with another man. Man, cut it out. Man. It just it just seems like cap. But back to the comments, she says. Now, how was his fiance supposed to react to her writing a book about her man? I'm also hearing it wasn't widely supported around the way by his people and that it was a birdish, that it was birdish behavior and nobody was surprised by it. Birdish behavior that no one was surprised by. That's hella interesting, ain't it? Keep watching. What up, though? Um, how you be? Mad Money said another great show. And it don't cost $149. Respect. Oh, you already know what it is, man. I ain't going to play with you. She asked me to review it. Y'all seen the proof? I played the proof in the video. She asked for this. That's what I'm doing. Lady Ruler says she got the book. Gang in the building. Most loyal. What up, though? Young go ahead. it is. You feel me? Young go ahead it is. Straight Bo said, oh, Lord. Yeah, I had to read that comment. I had to read that comment. That was a wonderful comment. Birdish behavior, was it? It's what I heard. You feel me? My folks said that she was dead wrong for that book. You see what I'm saying? Now, dig this, Straight Bo. I know that many people ain't bought it. And that's not a knock on her book sales or her book, though it may sound like one. I know that many people ain't bought it. She run around telling motherfuckers, I ain't going to get into that. I ain't going to get into that. She run around telling motherfuckers I leaked her book every day. Run around telling motherfuckers I leaked her book. I did this. I did that. Blase Fleet. Oh, the only one had the motherfucker. And do, 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 do. he the only person I sent it to. Get the fuck out of here. 
Like I'm the first person in your Rolodex. Like I'm the first person you thought of <laughs> when when you wrote this book or some shit. Fuck out of here, man. I don't want to hear that shit. And the stories are conflicting. The stories are conflicting. Let's see, let's see. I added you to the stream. You're not popping up. My special guest is in the back. Is in the back. But she is not popping up. I'm trying to add you to the to the stream now. You might have to go in and come back out because it's not showing me no picture. Every time I add you, it's not coming up on the screen either. I can do a dial in. How about that? Okay, uh, uh, Lady Ruler, tomorrow, tomorrow night, it'll take too much for me to do it right now, but tomorrow night, I'm going to post a link. Or you can email me if you feel as, as much because when I post a link, everybody start hitting the link trying to become a part of the show. It get messed up with the VPNs and everything else. If you feel like it, you can email me at upfordebatetv1 at gmail.com and I will send you a link personally to your email address for you to tap into tomorrow's show so we can discuss the book between one another because you have it. And I'd like, like I said, I'd like to hear your, your personal feelings about what you read. Every day. You feel me? Because everybody ain't wrong. Everybody ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't hating. I'm sure even some of her supporters feel like this shit was out of order. Like, wow, she really did that? Like, what, 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 what was the purpose? This is nothing like what I gathered she was going to do when I heard she was writing the book. It's nothing. She wrote that to hurt Misa and prove a point. And that's what it seems. That's exactly what it seems like. She wrote that shit to hurt Misa to try to one up her. To, to, to let the world know that she had some type of dealing with Poe on the sideline, this and that and the other. Now, I showed y'all the, the clip from Queen Flip says she ain't never had a problem taking a, a female man or dealing with a nigga that had a woman as long as he spent money and time with her. She didn't. She ain't never had a problem dealing with a nigga with a woman. She said she dealt with. She she told Queen Flip about two or three dudes that she dealt with who had women or wives or this and that. And other. So she about didn't care if Poe was attached. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You feel me? Like I said, you you gonna capitalize however you can capitalize on what you can capitalize on. You feel me? You know we all saw it. What up, though, Lupa Belly the Don? How you be, homie? Salute. So what y'all want to do first? Y'all want me to go through chapter what? Y'all want me to go through the erotic pictures or y'all want to talk about this fictional Wayne Perry shit? You know what I'm saying? Let's take a poll. I'm polling my audience. Where do I go first? <coughs> Every day. Every motherfucking day, nigga. Twice on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So good, I had to give me some more. You know what I'm saying? Touch here. What up, though? Touch the building. Big O, what's good? It's Touch here. Old girl in her book. Old girl in her book. She is a come bank, Harlem 105th Avenue dog. Homeboy, as long as I've been, and you can, you can, you can even say as long as I've been defending her on YouTube, because you know. When a motherfucker say some hot shit, some wild shit, I'll take her back. If she ain't going to respond, I'll respond. I was doing the same shit like I was doing with Poe. You feel me? But that's the general consensus, though. I couldn't even fight it then because Rihanna got these women. I'm going to say Rihanna. I'm going to blame Rihanna right now. Rihanna got these women thinking that it's female empowerment for them to take accountability for the amount of bodies that they have. You feel me? Yeah, I got 30 bodies. So what? It's my body. I do what I want to with it. I'm going to do just like you niggas do. Well, that's the problem. Y'all trying to be too much just like niggas to the point where y'all becoming just like niggas and niggas don't want to deal with y'all no more. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. That's the fucking problem. 
uh, 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 oh, it's my body, I do what I want to. Everybody think they Lori Harvey. Everybody think they Rihanna. They think that's, that, that they, they, they showing these women to be promiscuous, how to be promiscuous and take, and, and under the guise of goddamn, they basically showing these women promiscuity under the guise of women's empowerment. It's woman's empowerment. It's my body. It's this and that other. I can do what I want to. If it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander type shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know what to say about that, dog. Straight both say that's me. I felt the same way. It's not just you. I felt the same way. I immediately sent back when I read the parts when she started to sexualize and this and that and other talk about their relationship in such a fashion. I immediately sent her the googly eyes. You know how you send a motherfucker the eyes looking crazy and shit. Like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck did I just read? What you say he did? You say you did what? And y'all was huh? You feel me? And she just sent back laughing emojis. Where I'm at, where I'm at. She said, that's me. Those shower pics were unnecessary. This is coming from somebody who has the book. Those shower pictures were unnecessary. But see, the best way to tell a lie is with the truth. I keep telling y'all that shit. 50% of my lies, the truth. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got to add that in because that's where you get the air of, 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 of seniority, the air of honesty from. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not all some bullshit, but part of it is. But part of it you can verify. That makes the bullshit verifiable, too, to a degree. Oh, he was down there chilling with the niggas having a beer and this and that and the other. Duh, 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 duh. <clears throat> you know that, that type of shit. And I said that to say this, you know, she put them shower pics in there for everybody that about didn't believe the sexual escapades or es exploits that she was saying that she had with that man. She made it evident, just like the, the text messages back and forth between him. She's verifying herself in the story that she's telling in this book by putting those pictures, by putting messages like that. Picture messages in there. You feel me? She knew niggas wouldn't believe it. You might as well say that. She knew motherfuckers was going to take this crazy. How Misa supposed to take that? I mean, we all know he was doing him, but she wild. Know your place. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a fair one right there. That's more than fair. That's all I like. That's more. That's a more than fair statement. Say she in love. She must have been. She was acting like it. She acting like it, huh? But she straddled the fence too much to be in love. She straddled the fence too much to be in love, dog. You feel me? She talking about she ain't never been one to cry over no nigga and this and that and the other. Well, it seemed like she cried over Pope. What you trying to hurt his real girlfriend for? Jump off. You a jump off. Be... Know your role, just like Straight Bo just said. Know your role. What you trying to hurt his real family for? The people he really care about, the woman he really want to be with. You want to do some shit to hurt her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just because you jumped off. Hello? I see you back there. Where you at? Can you huh? hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. What's going on with you? What's up? What What did I miss? What did you already um talk about? What you said it's about some fake pictures or some shit? Oh, yeah. She got these photographs. I don't know if you got a chance to see these yet. She what got these the photographs fuck? in here. This is ridiculous. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Listen, 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 listen. I know they got granny porn on Pornhub. 
I know, I know niggas is doing the grandma porn and shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Maybe she should have saved the granny porn for Pornhub. There's no reason to have her, her buttocks covered in bubbles like that in this oh, book. Oh, my God. This is some, this, I mean, like, really, like, really, this, that's crazy. She should have just did a whole book. She should have did a whole book, H-O. She just did a whole book. I mean, you should have, she should have just did a whole book. Like, if you want somebody to see her, like, that's so inexplicit. She has a child. Like, who, what type of mother exposes themselves that type of way for fashion? I mean, you know, for a couple of dollars. So, hi, everyone on the show. Let me say this. Why I'm speaking or why I'm on this show. Don't nobody come on this show and tell me who she connected to or who she's supposed to be like. Because at this point, this bitch is nobody to me. Exactly. So the reason why I came on here is because I got in it basically for what for her trying to be a sneaky snake bitch is what she was. When this whole situation took place. I was trying to handle it just between I and her and keep it business-wise, lady-wise, and respectful. This street trash, ghetto slut, bucket-ass bitch, she's supposed to be business tight, always talking about she a business lady, she this, that, and this bitch hops on Instagram and puts some bullshit in her story, which said... People are mad at a rat, but they're not mad at a murderer for killing an innocent, uh, innocent dude on the street. First of all, let me clear all this shit up. Number one, I'm never a hater from afar. Number two, bitch, you were nowhere around these people when they were committing crimes or whatever they was doing. You were a non-motherfucking factor like you are now. Number three, no, I do not try to be little or garnish or push away anything anybody has to say about my son's father. This is the world we live in. We all have our opinions. But when a bitch tries to play with me and thinks she's going to get something from me the way she did it, then I'm going to attack the way I'm attacking. So I will let you know what I'm speaking about in terms. She, when I was on O show, it's been like, I tried to count it today, like eight years ago or something like that. Oh, five years ago or something like that. Whenever she reached out to O and said she wanted to talk to me. I'm outside y'all. She wanted to talk to me. So with me, I'm always thinking above the level of my head about business. So I took her not as an op, but basically about business type shit. Okay, she was supposed to be writing the books and doing all this, that, and the other, which we find out this bitch is fake, stunting, and homeless. Okay. So when he said to me, I think you, and I'm not calling this bitch Miss T, her name is T. I'm not an indirect woman. I'm direct, bitch. So when you start putting up posters and shit that's attacking me and mine, I'm coming direct. I don't give a fuck who you claim you affiliated to or what you claim to be about. Because to me, you ain't no type of gangster bitch. Because gangster bitches are not snitches, rats, and doing all this shit for entertainment to get a dollar. So let me go back. So, oh, so I said, oh, the one, so the one that was on your show, when the one you cool with, he said, yeah, I said, okay, I'll hook up with her and talk to her because I'm strictly about business. So we, we connected. She was cool. You know what I'm saying? I didn't feel that she was a friend, but it was still that I was saying business wise. So we was calling each other back and forth, you know, talking. And I had called her, asked her, did she know anybody that may could, you know, help my son out with his rapping and stuff like that. I even told the bitch, I think you should probably do like a serious or whatever. 
So at the end of the day, she came up with whoever this dude is that's supposed to be uh um what is he like a industry some type of industry movie dude where he does movies, documentaries, etc. So she said, I'm going to hook you up on a Zoom with him and y'all can talk and maybe y'all can put something together. So me and my head, I had already explained to everybody, whatever I do does not have anything to do with my son's father. And as long as I'm on here tonight, I'm going to keep referring to him as my son's father because I don't say his name. We don't even talk about him. He's in there where he is. Leave him the fuck alone. We don't even talk about him. So that's how I'm going to keep referring to him. But I'm sure everybody know who I am at this point. So then I expressed to her and everybody that I was very annoyed and I did not like what they were saying about him on the Internet. OK, so I get on the Zoom with her and the dude. We introduce each other. He tell me he doing blase, blase. So in the midst of that, he jumps off and says, well, you can come on the documentary that he was putting together for crimes or whatever and talk about your son's father, his life and how he was with the child. I said, hold up. No, that's not going to happen. I'm not talking to you to reference myself to go into nothing speaking about him. This is not about him. I don't do anything about him. And I'm not that type of woman that I'm that thirsty for a dollar to stab that man in his back. You got to remember, I have a son by him, no matter how I look at it. And even if I didn't have a son by him, how am I supposed to tell my son? I'm telling him, don't believe what people say about your father in the street, but I go and backstab this man getting on some shit talking about his life. No, we don't do that. So I expressed to them, I said, a female already did something like that and he didn't like it. So it would be real fucked up for me to jump out there and do that to him. So he was like, okay, I, uh, she was on there with us. So he was like, okay, I understand that. But I'm saying at some given time, you know, if y'all got letters of this, that, that was so I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. I'm not doing that. I said, now what could happen is we could do something where it would be like the first, because I went to prison on my son also. So I said we could collaborate and do something where the parents go to prison, leave the child, how the kids suffer or how the, the family suffer or whatever. So he was like, okay, well, we'll look into that. The whole time, this snake, rat bitch, in her head, I guess she was gaming if she got information from me she could put it together to put it in the book she never and let me clear this up because people are coming at me like astosha you were sitting up there okay you want me one minute oh okay go no, ahead no 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 just stop you said i want i want you to be clear you said she was trying to game you for information to put in her book Apparently, because that's where we are at this point. She never told me she was writing no book or nothing that my son's father was going to be implicated or anything. So the way I'm taking the situation now, after she did all what she did and hooked me up with the dude on Zoom, and he asked me, would I come on the documentary and talk about my son's father? Then let me add. After I talked to him a couple of months later, she I told she called me back and she said, Well, he said he want to talk to you. He wanna I'm gonna send you this paper and you look over this paper. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, I'll go, you know, I'll do the shit for the dude, you know, whatever, but we're gonna talk about what I said we want to talk about, like people going to prison leaving their kids that he never came back expressed to me what he wanted me to do on the documentary so she sent me the paper so i'm looking at the paper the paper is some type of um i say like a agreement and in the middle part it says Basically, I will, once I sign it, I have no rights to anything. That's basically saying they can, whatever I get on there and say, they can change the shit around, say what they want to say, or they can say some shit about my son, father, and say it, I said it. So 
me being a gangster street broad female woman I this it clicked. I said, wait a minute. He didn't send me no details of okay, we're gonna do this, that, and the other. This uh no monetary, this how much money you can make, but you send me a fucking paper for me to sign my rights away about anything I say to you or do. So I sent it to two people and they were like a star I know you ain't signed this shit. So I'm like, hell no. So they was like, do you understand what it's saying? I said, I understand. She never, I spoke to her all this time. She never, not, now let me say this. She don't owe me to tell me she writing a book. She don't owe me that. But what the bitch did owe me was, since she was so supposed to be cool with me or not even cool, we talking, why wouldn't she jump off and say, look, Astosha, okay, I'm writing this book about me and the rats. And um, I just wanted to let you know, or do you feel comfortable with me implicating your son's father? That's a respectful businesswoman. But this slut, hoe-ass bitch, in her head, she thinking to herself, okay, I'm going to get away with this because... If I put her with a production or if I put her with something talking about me, she figured if she put me with somebody and I'm getting a little bit of money or they going to do something for me, I'm not going to worry about what she's saying about my son, father. Bitch, you must have jumped in the wrong motherfucking airbag. That will never happen. And I don't know what made her think that I wasn't going to feel no type of way. But then again, she ain't give a fuck how I felt. Cause she was doing it anyway. So in this aspect of that, I when when it was brought to me and stop going on Odin talking about he told me this and the other. Bitch, who the fuck you think I am? You think I'm some type of bitch that's under a bridge that I don't connect with motherfuckers and motherfuckers don't connect with me? Bitch, what the fuck type of games is you playing? Now she I sent her a text. So in the text, I'm telling her I'm tired of these motherfuckers on YouTube talking that shit about Slim this, that, and the other. And this paper you sent me, I'm going to chill on this paper because I got to figure out what's best for me, my son, and him. Fuck, I look like going, getting on some shit like that, talking, and I don't even really know what y'all trying to get me to talk about. And people manipulate pages, documentaries, and shit all the time. So... At the time, I was dealing with somebody and he was in the car with me back in June. And he blatantly said to me, he said, you getting on the phone with her, Astosha. She asking you shit. If you don't do something on your son, father, they're going to take the initiative and do it. And the whole time he was absolutely right because look what the fuck she did. So after I sent her the text, this bitch sends me back a text and say, okay, cool. So I'm saying to myself, fuck that. I'm getting ready to go on this bitch. So she takes and call Owen and say, did you go back and tell uh, Astosha about the book or whatever? Because she sent me a text and it looked like it's more closer to what I'm talking about. Why would you ask him? What and thanks oh for being a friend. Why would you ask him? Bitch, I know dogs, rats, cats, all type of motherfuckers out here. What made you ask him? Did she gonna sell? So I text her back. I said, first of all, you was dead ass wrong for doing what the fuck you did, bitch. Don't fucking play with me. So I tried to keep the shit offline. I tried to reframe myself from calling her bitches because I still wanted this shit to be business wise and the way I act reflects on my son and his father so I tried to keep the shit at a minimum because please believe me I got other bigger shit going on than this whole ass bitch business wise so if I'm out here acting a certain way how I'm gonna get people to relate to me with my business but at this point I'm gonna have to take it for what it is because now this bitch done did too much so she texts me back we going back and forth she texts me back and say First of all, it's not a it's not a book about your son father. Like I said, y'all, I don't want to say his name. So everybody knows his name. 
And, and um, this was a conversation between me and Al. I said a conversation. What the fuck does my son father have to do with you fucking a rat talking about y'all had a beautiful gangster conversation and you in this fucking book portraying something about my son father is a lie. So let me get to this lie. Number one, when she was first on your show, back when she was first on your show, and she said that shit talking about, well, they didn't get, get him out. Uh, I was the only one to jump and get him out. So where was his friends and this, that, and the other? Whole bitch, let me tell you something. The motherfucking rat wanted to jump out there and pay his motherfucking bail because he wanted his protection, bitch. So when he did that, the rest of the niggas that was going to bar him out, they fell back and said, fuck it. We're going to give him the money when he get out. So shut your whole ass up. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And I told your monkey ass that in the first place. So stop motherfucking playing with me because I'm that bitch. I don't give a fuck about nothing. Okay, now, oh, you, you got your you hand told up. Her that in the first, you say you told her that personally. I that, told her that. And she still chose, she, she included something in this book similar to that, saying that people, where was his friends? Exactly, people, exactly. Because see, that's what she did. When she felt this though, she couldn't get no information from me to put no shit together. She kept riding on that one story about who the fuck was helping this shit. They talking about, they talking about free him, this, that, and the other. Bitch, you don't know what the fuck is going on with him in that cell. And let me help you out. When a fucking rat put a statement and all that he said on him and they got that shit sealed in a court. It's kind of hard for him to get that shit unraveled. The rat is dead, bitch. So shut your whole ass up. You act like you a fucking gangster. You know all this court shit, but I want everybody to pay attention to this. You a gangster, bitch. You done sold heroin, drugs, dope, picked up guns and all that. Explain to me. Why the fuck you ain't never been locked up? <laughs> this bitch has never ever said she met the police even for a fucking driving record. Why the fuck haven't you been locked up? Because all the gangster bitches I know, all the trap queen women on trap queens, they did time in jail, bitch, and so did I. So if you such a gangster bitch and you did all this and they kidnapped me and this, that, and the other, why the fuck you ain't never been to jail? Bitches I know got government jobs, Murray scared to death. They been to jail one day or another. They did a day in jail or, or got locked up by the police. What's your motherfucking excuse? So at the end of the day, bitch, you been a rat. You been a motherfucking rat. And since you want to talk that shit, Al ain't fuck with you, bitch, because he left some shit. And guess who the fuck got it? Yeah, bitch, you playing a real dangerous game out this motherfucker. And I told you, I'm not the bitch to fuck with. I'm not. Not about him and nothing else. Don't play with me. And I feel some type of way because it's like she felt as though she was going to get up under me to find something. Oh, ain't never asked me for no motherfucking story. So don't go talking about he wanted a story and he made no bitch. You made because your shit got blown up. You're the one that's mad around here looking like a fucking clown talking that dumb ass shit. My shit done went out. My shit froze up. I, I can hear you. I see you. You can't. Can you I, hear me? I can hear I, you. can still hear me. It's look my picture froze up. OK, cool. I'm glad you can still hear me. Yeah, bitch, you the one, you the one walking around this motherfucker mad. Don't talk about he mad. Then you get on, then you, then you keep indirecting. Then you get on your website and you contradict yourself. You's a pathological lying bitch. And from my mouth to yours, did you forget that I was around that man for a couple of a couple of minutes? That man don't even talk like that. So all of a sudden he fucking you. And he going to tell you all this shit. And you wait till after a year after he dead and come up with this beautiful gangster story that you was his beautiful gangster, this, that, never. But your punk ass was reluctant to put the broad name in that motherfucking book. Who the fuck he is getting ready to marry. You ain't do that, you punk bitch, because you know she would have smashed your ass. <laughs> So all that shit she talking in that book is lies because how the fuck you go from you was a gangster bitch, you had this is that one book you did on Fitz or whatever his name is, that's all your life. 
Because, bitch, I got a lifetime of shit. I can go from the day I was born to my childhood, to my teenage years, to my motherfucking adult years, to my over adult years, to my future. Those are all books. Bitch, you only had one book to tell about your life. You stunting, faking ass bitch. Keep talking about you own realty. You Airbnb living ass bitch. Bitch, you are, and I sent you my motherfucking address. Don't fucking play with me. I'm not that one. I'm not that bitch. I'm the other one. And am I upset yet? Yeah, y'all, I'm upset because people starting to look at me like you talking to this bitch and she sat up here and did this motherfucking shit and you knew about it? No, let me clear that up. I, did, I don't owe nobody shit. But no, I did not know nothing about her putting him in no fucking book. Beautiful gangster. Bitch, you's a beautiful rat. Fuck you playing with. Fuck you playing with, bitch. I'm not, I keep telling you, don't fucking play with me. I was trying to keep this shit. I got all, a, t- a whole bunch of shit going on. I was trying to ignore this bitch and keep it copacetic. Keep it on another level. Then you talk about you a businesswoman. Bitch, go check while he the clock out because you can't fuck with her. You was a fucking wreck. You lied. All the motherfucking lies. And that man ain't tell her shit because how the fuck is he going to tell her something? Oh, did he tell you all this shit? Did he tell you he was scared of him and he pulled up and all this bullshit? Bitch, you looking at too many fake ass Tubi, Tubi movies. You looking at Tubi movies making shit up. Fuck is wrong with you, bitch. Yeah, he fucked you because you chased him down. You chased that man down for a fucking story. I don't think you knew he was going to pass away, but all of a sudden he passed away. You come up with all this shit. Beautiful gangster. I had his front, his back, and his side. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. The motherfucking female that he was going to marry had all of that. He shit. I only think one bra in this world he ever really expressed some shit to, and that was the one in D.C. You bitch, you was a fucking whore. Then you keep talking about my motherfucking son father. You want to suck his meat? If he was out here, he'd have let you suck his meat and he would have fucked you and wrapped your ass around one of these motherfucking poles where nobody would see your ass. Bitch, don't fucking play with my people. I don't like it. I don't like it. Then you try to fake like you want to burn up with me or be cool with me or whatever, like you was going to get something from me. Bitch, you ain't get shit from me, not one story. Then I told her, I said, me and him not talking. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't be talking this and that. Oh, she ran with that. Bitch, I told you that for a reason. See, I'm the sm- I'm a smart bitch. I ain't dumb. I'm very smart. Gangster street smart. So where's your gangster shit at? Then she get on her website talking about gangster is when you got a business. Bitch, you got some fake ass online shit running. You ain't got no motherfucking businesses around here because you ain't got no money to pay for it. Fuck you playing with, bitch. And yeah, I just got my bar back. Yeah, bitch. And some more shit I got going on. Fuck is you playing with? You's a hot rat bitch. And stop going on older. He ain't got nothing to do with that shit. You keep going on men. You better remember you still a fucking female. I got to remember that shit too. And then you fuck with all the ops, bitch. You sitting up here. What's his name? Oh, Mega, Mega something. What's his Mega what? Hello? I know who you talking about. You talking about uh Fraudio. Unique Mecca. That nigga got online and dogged that bitch. She called her all type of whores, all type of shit. If a nigga dog me out like that online, I'm not speaking to him. It's nothing you can say to me. Nigga, when I see you, peace, you get on one side of the street and I get on the fucking other. Fuck is wrong with this bitch. Then I'm going to tell you something else, T. That lady, that that female, that other girl, that Harlem girl, I don't even know that lady name. I'm not going to disrespect her, but I'm not her. Bitch, we will never speak ever again. Ever again for life. We will never speak ever again for life. See, you not going to wait six months and then we going to cap it up and, oh yeah, well, I was wrong. You, bitch, fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. No, we will never do that. I don't get down like that. I don't get down like that. You fuck with my people saying all that motherfucking bullshit and you don't even know what the fuck you talking about up there lying. Then she going to say, I talked to somebody in D.C. about him. Who the fuck is you to talk to somebody in D.C. about anybody? Bitch, you got shit fucked up around this motherfucker. You got shit all the way fucked up. 
Bitch, you better get your motherfucking raggedy, dusty ass in a motherfucking oven and hope you don't fry out this bitch. But I'm going to tell you something, though. I ain't even mad at your clown ass. You a Bama ass bitch. I ain't even mad at your Bama ass. I'm going to laugh at you. I'm going to laugh at you, bitch, because this shit right here, you thinking people, yeah, the ones that's talking to you, they're like, yeah, girl, that's cool. That book you did, that's this, that. Bitch, they laughing at your ass. You the dumbest bitch ever. You's the dumbest bitch ever. Ever. And then she talked, she gonna call, calling people talking about, he telling her what Al said about me. Bitch, I'm not even gonna say what he said about you and what he did. Because for one, I don't run my mouth like that and I'm not a rat. I'm gonna keep it to myself because it's good for me. It's good for me. So bitch, you think you played somebody, you got your own self played, you dumb ass bitch. Bitch, you could never play me about mines. Never, never. And I don't give a fuck what's going on. That nigga, no, I'm not gonna run my mouth about shit because I ain't got nothing to run my mouth about. Fuck is you talking about, bitch? So you're the one that's mad. Odin has nothing to be mad about. This she on is talking about where is your book? Bitch, them fake ass stories you got. And who the fuck you think you is talking about? You gonna sell a book for $145. You should have sold your ass. You would have been better off putting a cream together saying this is what Poe puts on his face and his body. You might have got away with that and got some change. Who the fuck you think going to pay you $145 to see your made up ass Photoshop body? Bitch, you better get the fuck out of here. Yeah, niggas like looking at ass. You should have made a whole separate book. I said, this is Miss T, and this is T, because you ain't no miss to me, bitch. This is T, and this is my body frame, how I look. You have got some money for that. Don't ever think you, YouTube, nobody going to keep playing with my motherfucking peoples. Yeah, I say a lot of shit, but you had the, light, the slightest idea what the fuck I got going on. Bitch, fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Then she going to talk about, I'm not worrying about her. I wouldn't worry about me. I wouldn't worry about me either, Buki. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about me either, Buki. So, oh, I don't know where those pictures came from. You said they Photoshop. They got to be. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. They got to be, as far as I'm concerned. Or, I mean, they, they could be real. I don't know. Shit. Oh, they might be. They they might be real because she was pressed. That bitch was pressed. She did all that to fake have a book to write about that man. She was pressed. You's a salty ass clown, Bama ass bitch. You was pressed, bitch. You was pressed. And I don't give a fuck what you claim somebody told you about me in DC. Fuck you and them. And all y'all can kiss my black ass and suck my son's father's nuts. Because he does not need for me to speak up for him. But this bitch on top of bitch. Because I can take accountability for what I did. I had no business talking to this bitch. Let me tell y'all, you cannot talk to the motherfucking ops. If the motherfucker is an ops, there's an ops for a reason. If you got family, I don't give a fuck if it's your brother, sister, cousin, baby, father, baby, mother, a motherfucker that you done live with, that's, if they got ops, them motherfuckers is your ops too. Everybody learn a lesson in their life. I learned a very valuable lesson with this bitch. But I tried to overlook that shit. You cannot overlook no shit like that because it is what the fuck it is. It is what the fuck it is. Bitch, keep my motherfucking son father name out your mouth. Period. Period. And all this, you think you hiding from motherfuckers? Bitch, anybody can get to Barbados. Anybody can get to Georgia. Anybody can get to New York. You keep running on the run. You don't have a stable address because you scared somebody gonna clook you upside your motherfucking mouth. But bitch, trust me, I'm the worst one because I will find your ass. I'm the worst one. The worst. Hypothetically bitch, you think you speaking. fuck, you think you playing with me? Hypothetically huh? speaking. I said, hypothetically speaking, ain't nobody threatening nobody. This is a hypothetical conversation right no, here. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, no, I'm not threatening her. I don't have to threaten her. I don't have no, to threaten her, but I'm, I'm letting her know. That, it could be she, true, so I'm just yeah. making it clear to the audience that right. these, ain't nobody. I, 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 got, I understand what 
you saying. I'm not threatening her, but I'm just telling her. Cause don't tell nobody talking about some. I'm not. She not worried about me. Cause I ain't gonna find her. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Get the fuck out of here with that crazy shit. This is the world we live in. If the fans can find you, anybody. And then let me speaking out of fans. Would you write that shit on my son father for? Was you motherfucker? Is 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 those notes for the fans? Cause that's what the fuck it looked like to me. You put a whole fucking spread together. You said some shit that nobody has ever heard. That man did not tell you that. He told the fans everything he was going to tell them. And from my understanding, <laughs> from my understanding from that man, anything that somebody asked him about my peoples, he was more remorseful. He didn't say nothing negative. That shit you put in that book, you must try to, you must uh, co cooperate with the fans and they must have told you where place this right here and say this. Because, bitch, that story was never, ever told. Now, the shit about he didn't have nobody to help him get out or whatever. Yeah, we didn't heard that. We didn't heard that. But that other story you put in there, I'm not even going to say it because that's some rat shit. That other story that you put in there, that whole paragraph that did she come back with, it was about her brother and he deceased. Bitch, that one, your brother, you fucked him too. You around here fucking all these book writing industry motherfuckers. And where have you gotten? Where have you gotten? Bitch, you should be in Hollywood somewhere trying to really write a good book. Then you tell them motherfuckers they books and shit ain't good or whatever. Bitch, you ain't writing that shit by yourself. Like the fuck I said, you watch too many Tubi movies, bitch. Fuck out of here with this dumb shit. And no, nah, I'm not. Let me, let me, let me. Stop. I'm not threatening her. I don't do threats. I do promises. I'm not threatening her at all. I do promises. I don't do threats. I'm not with the threatening gang. So if it came off like I was threatening her, no, nah, I'm not threatening her. I don't do threats. That's not my stilo. I don't do no motherfucking threats at all. But because I already told her I'm not that bitch. I'm the other one. So no, nah, I, I, I'm not with all of that. I'm not with all this shit, period. I'm sick of hearing this shit about my son, father, this, that, and the other. He is in he is in prison during his time. Whatever the fuck, whoever is helping him or whatever he got going on, he got shit going on. It ain't none of nobody's business. What the fuck he got going on? This man over here is deceased. Bitch, find something else to talk about. Cause this right here, this gonna be karma for you, bitch. I'm telling you. Next year or before Christmas hit, you're gonna catch a lot of karma. And I don't wish no bad on nobody i don't wish no bad on nobody but bitch if you think motherfuckers liking what you just did they not liking this shit at all so your next book might be your last one if you get the right one and stop going after that man talking about he ain't doing this and he ain't he's a fucking man like we as women gotta know our place and i know my motherfucking place I only get out of turn with niggas when they when I feel like they disrespecting me. But I don't really get on the line, get on online shooting shots at motherfuckers. You, I thought you was more respectful than that bitch. You like a little ass girl, a little child. As soon as I said something to you, you ran to Instagram and put in your post. But you on your website talking all this business type shit. You ain't no motherfucking business type bitch. Bitch, you's a ghetto hood rat, raggedy ain looking bitch. You's a ghetto ass hood rat. Fuck is you talking about? And I'm fucked up with you because I gave you the utmost respect, thinking that you strictly was standing on business the whole time. You run around this motherfucker wanting to be fame off of two niggas that was doing whatever they was doing in the motherfucking 80s and 90s that had absolutely nothing to do with you. You wasn't nowhere. In there, you were irrelevant like the fuck I said. 
That's street trash. And that's what the fuck you is, bitch. And I said it out my motherfucking mouth. You ain't got shit on me because I ain't ran through. I ain't fucked a million niggas. I'm not fucking no niggas in no industry. And any nigga that I come across, I'm not sleeping with every nigga that I come across for a dollar. Because, bitch, I'm a real hustler. I know how to get out this motherfucker and start putting shit together like it's supposed to be to make my way. I ain't got to use my son father name for shit. Bitch, you run around here talking about you slept with him. Then she tried to be sarcastic, talking about, remember, we talking about the rat. And I told her, bitch, don't play with me because I don't think this is funny at all. It's not funny. It shows your characteristics as a grown fucking woman, how you walking around this motherfucker lying and putting shit together to deceive the purpose so you can be somebody. Bitch, wake the fuck up. This the world we live in. If you ain't got a mind, the mentality, the physical of all the situation, bitch, ain't nobody paying you no attention. And right now they laughing at you. They're like, I don't. So many people that call me like, what the fuck is this? This this shit is ridiculous. Is this bitch for real? You need. They got mental health, bitch. You need mental health. You're psychotically crazy, and you are a pathological liar. You are a vicious pathological liar. And Did you let me say tell you, she referred to Alpo as the rat. Yeah, she got on the phone trying to be sarcastic, talking about something. Remember, we're talking about the rat, and I said what? Oh, I'm not, bitch. I'm not playing with you. I don't find this shit funny. Yes, she did. That's what I'm telling you. She's a contradicting bitch. And anybody on this motherfucking internet, that bitch is not to be trusted. Not even with a motherfucking can of soda. She's not to be trusted. Any bitch that you see that's on the internet trying to plug in with this one, I learned so much. You know, when shit happens, People start telling you certain shit that you would never think. I, people been inboxing me saying a couple of things, and I'm looking at this shit like, wow. Wow. This bitch, she tries to go and plug in with this one and plug. Bitch, I'm not a plug in. I'm plugged in where I plug in. I don't go around trying to get with this one, that one, and that one. That's not how I live my life. I'm not so wrapped up on being on the motherfucking internet. I'm not so wrapped up on motherfuckers knowing who I am, but I feel some type of way, so I stepped out there and said something in reference to my son father. All that other shit, I ain't interested in that shit, because at the end of the day, I'm gonna live and make my motherfucking way out here. Without using his name, I've been doing it all my motherfucking life, and I'm gonna continue to do it. So we ain't with all of that. Me and my son, with all of us, we don't talk about him. It's nothing to fucking talk about. Bitch, do you, since you fucking all these industry people, did you fuck a judge that you can help me connect me with? I would appreciate that. You got any judges wow. that you fucked that you could connect me with? That would help me out a lot. Fuck is you playing with, bitch? I don't play them type of games, and I don't like when bitches think they can come to me and think, oh yeah, she they they feel as though like I be on the internet or I'm talking, whoever I'm talking to, I'm just talking to be talking. I'm really trying to get some money off his name, or I'ma do this, that, and the other. Bitch, I'ma die the same motherfucking way. The way I'm breathing now, I'ma die the same way. I don't need no money off that man's name. All I need him to do is walk the fuck out of that cell one day if he do. If it's Allah's will to take his life in there, it is what it is. But you motherfuckers sitting out here thinking y'all gonna keep spreading it around, making a couple of dollars off the name? Nah, we stopping that. We stopping that. And bitch, we starting with you. I told them on Facebook last night, Odin, you got a copy of the book. When I get a copy of the book, it's for free. Call me. It's for free. It's for free. Since you wanna, you wanna act like you this bad bitch. You this that and the other. Well, bitch, see how you gonna deal with your shit. You can take that motherfucker to Africa and see if they're gonna buy for a hundred and some dollars. Then she online talking about I gave certain people their money back. Bitch, you broke as shit. You gave who their money back? Who the fuck you gave that money back? If she gave anybody that money back, more blessings to you. Because I don't believe that either. Because once she got that motherfucking bread, she was in her head, yeah, these books is going to sell. And she sold that shit. 
Bitch, don't play with me. I sent the bitch a cease and desist to try to air the shit out. Like, just go ahead. Bitch, just go ahead. Take his name. And then you, in the book, you took and you changed another nigga's name in the book and made his name another character, but you still got my people's name up there. You know why you did it, bitch? Because you knew you was going to get a little bit more attraction. Oh, I'm going to get, if I put him in here, I'm going to get a little bit more attraction. You fucked up, bitch. I'm telling you, you fucked up. And you is mad. You're the one that's mad because you ain't want me to know about that shit. You really did want me to see it. Or you really did want somebody to call me and say, after you done made your little dollars. So I caught you at a good time. Then when she on the phone with me, she telling me it's not out yet. Um, the book has not been out yet. Whole time, this whole ass street trash bitch on the website promoting the shit. And I'm looking, I'm, I'm saying to myself, bitch, who the fuck you think you talking to? You must think really talk, think like my hair is igloo or something. Who the fuck you think you've been called? You, she called me like four times for me to sign that motherfucking paper for the dude. So that way she, I'm going to say it again. So she could get me locked into something so she can bounce back and say, well, I don't want you, you can't be mad because I got you hooked up to something. Bitch, you got me hooked up to what? Bitch, I'm smarter than that. I am very, I'm very, motherfuckers think they can get over on me and shit. I'm very extremely intelligent. And I look carefully and I think carefully before I do anything that may surround him or even have something to do with him because I'm not going to do that. Let me, pause in my for life. A Let me pause for a second. So what you're saying is when you try to lock you into a deal, into a documentary deal, and not letting you know that she wrote the book. She didn't let you say she you didn't know she was writing the book. You didn't know she was including a, a slim name in the book or whatnot. None of that you knew, but she was calling you constantly, trying to lock you in. And then once she releases the book, you feel like, oh, well, there's nothing she can do because I got her locked into a contract. Mm -hmm about the documentary thing. Is that, that's what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. So she can get on her shit and lie all she want. It's pure evidence. It is nothing I'm making up because I don't have time to tell lies. That's too much for me. I got too much other shit on my mind to lie on her. That's exactly what the fuck she did. Let me ask you one more thing. In a book, she refers to, she says she talks to a few people in D.C. Now, like you said earlier in the broadcast, she contacted me to get your number so you guys could open up a relationship on your own. Now, once that happened, once I verified that you would, you want, I could pass the number to her, that was your relationship, right? Now, why? Right. Okay. Um, 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 the documentary, once she locks you in and she releases the book, if she had locked you in, people would feel like you'd be complicit. Right? Do you feel like people think you're complicit now because she says she speaks to a couple people in D.C., then she writes an untold story that nobody ever heard about from WP, and you know, as well as social media, that, you know, perception is nine-tenths of the law. It ain't going to be about what it really is. It's going to be about what it looked like. And it looked like y'all two been talking for a couple of years and promoting each other, and then she comes up with this. Make you look complicit in what's going on. Exactly. But the thing about that is, that's why the fuck I'm on your show tonight. Because I, I was not complicit with her about anything. She didn't tell me anything. I knew nothing about the book. Because if I did, the female I am, the characteristic that I have, there would be no way for me to come on your show and turn it around like I didn't know nothing. I have a fucking son that I have to, that I gotta face. And I have the most utmost respect for my son and myself. So for me to go behind their back, hold on. I'm going to get some water while the, while the siren's going. I'll be right back. Okay. Y'all, y'all can't see me. My phone froze up for whatever reason. I can't even see any comments. <laughs> I'll see them tonight. 
And no, I'm not mad, y'all. I'm not even mad. I'm laughing at this clown bitch. I'm not, I'm not even mad because I do know people do shit like this, but like he is saying, it makes it real fucked up because I was talking to her. He knows that I was talking to her too because I told him and he did not like it. And sometimes I got to take a step back and I have to listen when people tell me something. Like I said, the dude was in the car with me that I was dealing with. He brought it to my attention also, but I kept overlooking it because I didn't want to put her in the bracket as that she was a backstabbing snake rat bitch. I tried to keep it where she ain't like that. She just, you know what I'm saying? She write her little books, tell a little story. She's straight on business time. But however... We see this bitch is a fucking gopher. She wants to be famous off this man's name. And I'm not with all of that. I don't give a fuck about her fake ass love story that she uh made up about her and him. Don't throw my peoples in that shit. Then viciously lie on him for no reason. This bitch has never met him. She was never around. I was back in their day. This bitch was irrelevant like she irrelevant now. So that's my whole conception of the whole situation. Like, bitch, don't ever try to play with me like that because I'm not with all of that. There's no way I'm giving up a story about nothing. If he passed away the day of the mom, I still don't have a motherfucking story. It's just that fucking simple. I don't want people to think, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you will. First you were saying you ain't had no story and then you went with her and gave her nah. Then she doubled back talking about Odin must be fucking with you or he must want to, he must think he going to get a story on that man. Bitch, please. You're the one that's mad. You all fucked up in your head. I don't know. This bitch might be taking medication or she might be on some type of pills or whatever the fuck. I don't know what's wrong with the bitch, but this shit is crazy. I think it's very crazy and I think it's very below the belt and I think it's very like it's just it's unbelievable and it's also unbelievable how the internet just keep doing shit and saying shit people just you know how do y'all how do this what I, I, I really you know me I go to sleep at night I go to sleep at night I rest I snore. I got my snoring taken care of. Like, I rest. How do people go to sleep? How do they live their lives? Live their lives daily knowing that you like, just sitting up here lying on people, lying that you connected with people. If I if I really did not know my son father, if I had only just slept with him one night, I'm going to say I only slept with that man one night. I don't know shit about him because that's how I keep shit real with myself. You got to be real with yourself out this motherfucker in order to be real with the public. This bitch right here is not real. She not even synthetic. I don't know what this water bridge bitch is. This shit is fucking crazy. Oh, I hear you back on here. This shit is crazy. Have people contacted you thinking you were complicit? Has anybody yes. said anything to you? They didn't say per se that I was complicit. What was said to me was, do you know about what this bitch wrote? So me, I'm not a liar. I said, I know about it. Yes. Are you, what are you calling me to ask me? They said, did you agree to this shit? I said, agree. Are you fucking for real? Are you serious? Did you really take your time to call me to ask me did I agree to some shit like this? So they went on to say, so basically what you're saying is she backstabbed you on your back. You didn't know. I said, I, I'm not even going to say the bitch backstabbed me in my back because she not my friend. What I'm going to say is the bitch went behind, behind my back, yes, and did the shit. I had no knowledge of it at all until it was presented to me the same way it was presented to you. I had damn near 12 calls, motherfuckers that I don't even speak to, but they were concerned. It wasn't like they was trying to attack me and be like, bitch, you fucked up this, that I'm used to dealing with this person. Only one person said something to me like that and he had the rights. 
He was like, why the fuck is you, why the fuck would you be talking to this bitch? And you know motherfucking well, she was the ops, this, that, and the other. He ran it down to me the same way I ran it back to him. And I told him I take my accountability because I was dead ass wrong. But I was not looking at the bitch on those type of terms. So, yes. So when when you when it when it came to she keep putting you in the middle and then I'm saying this bitch indirect use a punk bitch do direct shit that's what grown women do I'm a grown motherfucking woman and like I said I tried to talk to her on the phone text is back and forth we I got to the point where I told that bitch don't ever contact me again I don't know you and I blocked her but I tried, I went to her. I didn't jump on social media and say a motherfucking thing. Next morning, I see up in a circle, this bitch talking all this shit. Like, for what? I had already said what the fuck I had to say to you. So why you want to be acting like a fucking little ass girl, a fucking kid? I'm an overgrown ass woman. I don't play them games. So then I see she jumping on social media saying all this motherfucking shit about you for what? At the end of the day, like I said, you're still a grown ass man. Whatever the fuck you say on here about her, it is what it is. Because she popped off because that bitch was mad because her shit got blown up. Call it motherfuckers. Did you read the book? You like the book? Did you read the book? It's a beautiful love story. Bitch, it's beautiful lies. <laughs> you need some fucking help. You need help. <laughs> you need some motherfucking help, my lady. You need help. Serious help. If you think that's the way you're supposed to live, bitch, you need help. Now, I learned something from Wahida Clock when I was locked up. They say she's a rat. I don't know. But one thing I'm going to say about her is she's a motherfucking rat. She's a very private, co confident rat. And she ain't all over social media with all this bullshit. She sells her motherfucking books. She don't call people and say, can you promote this book for me? If you promote, put, put, can I come on your show and promote this bitch book? Bitch, you not even a seller. Then you on your motherfucking website with that bullshit. While he the clock explained to me when I was locked up because her name was tagged to something and I didn't like it. So I reached out to her in an email and she told me, she said, and that's what made me know when they sent me that paper, that's the same shit that was going to happen to me. She said, people take because I'm really known and my books sell and shit that I say, they take my name and they attach it to shit because they know it's going to sell. She said, now you just pulled me up on something. I didn't even know my name was attached to shit. Now I got to go after these motherfuckers and tell them, take my name out of that shit or they going to pay me my money. So if y'all really want to know a down ass woman with some books, it's her. And like I said, they said she was a rat. I don't know. She don't have this bitch right here. Got plenty of rat tendencies. Got she shows rat tendencies, though. <laughs> yeah, she shows the rat in her. She shows the rat in her. While he the clock, nah. She real laid back. Her books is about people, but she don't use people names. She used the scenes and she used different names because, like I said, she know once she put one book out. That motherfucker going to sell. Anything else she put out, it's going to sell. Just like me, bitch. I'm not pressed about selling a story. Once I put my story out for me, about me, bitch, my shit going to sell. Any motherfucking thing I put in my hand, it sells. I got my motherfucking weed certificate. certificate. I went to that place and bought that shit. That shit is gone today. That was yesterday. So, bitch, you ain't about your business. Because if you was, you wouldn't be calling O, calling this one, calling that one. Can you help me promote my book? I put a motherfucking book out and put it on a shelf. That shit going to sell, bitch. Then you want to sell it for a hundred and some dollars. Bitch, who the fuck you thought you was? You ain't got no motherfucking Hollywood star on the celebrity block. <laughs> I ain't never in my motherfucking life. I was like,
like what? And slide my people's name in there. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> goofy ass bitch. Some bitch goofy as fuck. She goofy as fuck. So, oh, that's basically why I jumped on your shit to clear that shit up. Just like I said, I don't owe nobody a motherfucking thing. But I don't want nobody to misconstrue and misunderstand who I am, what I am, my characteristics as a woman. I will never, I don't give a fuck if BET, this is how far I'm going to go with it. I wouldn't give a fuck if BET called me and I'm dead ass serious and I'm not a contradicting woman. If BET called me today tomorrow and say, we're going to give you $2 million and I'm not being funny, I'm not lying and I need that $2 million. Trust me, I do. <laughs> if you call here, if you come on here and you say this about, you know what I'm going to tell them? I don't, I, I'm not interested. I'm not interested, but what I can do is I can come on there and tell you about me and my son. Do you want to still interact with me about the two million to tell you a story about him? No. And motherfuckers don't understand. Y'all telling these stories Y'all condemning people, condemning him, and putting other people in situations. The feds has no motherfucking stipulation to what they can come back and pick up. So if you know all of this, bitch, get your ass in the cell too. And that's exactly what the fuck they gonna do to me. There are a lot of murders that have not been uh, what you call, they have not been closed. Yeah. So you keep running your motherfucking mouth, miss bitch. Wherever you in New York, Belize, Barbados, wherever the fuck you are, you keep running your motherfucking mouth trying to shine on the wrong shit. Shit is real out here with people lives. And I heard that one of that man's kids, I don't know who the fuck he was arguing with online, about his father. Let me say something to these children. Man. They not children to these young men. Including my son. The thing about this is between the kids. And I'm not connecting them because they're not. His kids has not got into it with my son. His This one over here on my end. His kids has not gotten into it with them. I'm not going to allow that shit because it's not right. No matter what the fuck your parents have done, they did what they did, that's it. Now, this how I feel about that shit. These, they, they, their sons are out here living their lives. They trying to, you know, be who they are. They, these ones on this end, not trying to be their father. They not trying to follow in his footsteps and he don't want that. I don't know what that one over there told his sons. That's between him and them. But what I'm going to say is the difference between them, young man, you get, even if the fuck he not your father, I don't give a fuck. You was in his face. You was around him. You got to hug, touch him and talk to him. That's the difference on this end. You got a chance to be around him. However short time it was. Allah granted you that time to be around that man, hug him, talk to him, get his opinion of you or whatever. These ones on this end, can we fucking get a break? Can y'all shut the fuck up and go the fuck on about y'all life so he can see his? So that's the difference. So what I'm saying is don't get online. Don't get on the internet arguing back and forth about who your father was, what his position was. The fucking court documents and the media already said he was a rat. The court documents and the media already said he took this one over his life. He got him five fucking life sentences. So we don't need to go back and forth arguing with these ignorant, irrelevant, dumb motherfuckers who want to be known for all the wrong fucking reasons. I don't like that. I don't like to see somebody's child on the internet pouring their heart out, going back and forth. Nigga, you ain't kill him in D.C., this, that, and the other. That shit is not cool, man. 
That shit is not cool. That's why I keep my son abreast and keep him far away from that shit. I don't want him to live his life thinking he got to go out here and defend his father over here and defend his father. You listen to what your motherfucking mother tell you about your father and the people that really know him. That's it. And that's all. Fuck with the Internet say or anybody else because they are fucking irrelevant like this whole bitch. You was nowhere to be found, nowhere around. So I'm not going to believe that that man Set, this motherfucker was running around fucking bitches everywhere. Bitch, how the fuck you think you just this Samanada bitch? You think you the one. He was getting ready to marry a pretty young lady. You ain't got shit on her. Nothing. That's why you ain't putting her name in that book at all because you knew better. So to think, to think that he had all this time to sit there holding you a man. I done been with plenty. I done been with niggas and we had our little pillow talks or whatever the case may be. But you honestly think a nigga gonna come out of his mouth and say, yeah, I was scared of that nigga. That nigga just say, what? He still had his motherfucking ego even though he was a rat. You think he gonna say some shit like that? This shit don't make sense. Like people, we have to use common sense. I then would do I get mad at a motherfucker. You think I'ma tell a nigga business? What kind of shit is this bitch playing? Bitch, let me tell you something. That's not gangster. I don't know what gangster you play in Harlem, but over here in DC and other states, that's not gangster bitch. Then the bitch came up one day and said, I ain't no uh what she say, I ain't no rules, rules or something. I, I ain't no street code. I don't do the street code, bitch, because you never was a gangster. You, what you were was a whore is what you is now. That's your title. Take that motherfucker and ride. I can't call myself a whore because I didn't sleep with all these people. And if that's what you did, may Allah bless you. But don't come with another title that does not belong to you. This is not gangster shit. I said before, we as women need to know our motherfucking place. Gangster women, shut the fuck up. You don't expose a man's business. I don't give a fuck if he's dead in a cell, he choked himself or whatever the fuck. You don't do that. Now, how would you feel if your wife went behind your back and told all your secrets? Fuck up. Thank you. Thank you. Whether you dead or alive, thank you. I tell motherfuckers thank that shit all the time. Motherfuckers be talking about if I'm dead, put put a case on me and this and that and other. Nah, nigga, don't fucking tarnish my name. Don't have exactly. my family, my kids, nobody looking at me strange because you felt like you was too much of a bitch to take a case or you ain't want to exactly. stay in jail. For how, you don't know, nah, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. If, if, you, it's if it's like that, the nigga put it on one of them niggas that out there that you feel like <laughs> you feel me. If exactly. you don't put it on me. Don't put it on me. Motherfucker, you know what I've learned? Oh, during these last couple of months, I've really opened my eyes to a lot of shit, man. A lot of motherfuckers, man, they don't stand on respect, self-respect, morals, and principles. It's so fucked up out here that these people are struggling. Excuse me, I had to be. Excuse me, they are struggling to eat, so they think if they do any motherfucking little thing that's gonna help them get past and eat, you cannot eat like that. I'm sorry, it might work for you for a minute, a minute, but you got a million life lives ahead of you to go. You can't, you cannot do that. You just cannot. You cannot keep. Throwing salt on people's motherfucking name, disrespecting people, because that man upstairs is watching every fucking day. I had to really, you know, I cussed somebody out, called all type of names. I had to really get my motherfucking self together because that shit was not right. You know, so you don't get along, just separate and let it go. I can't, you know, if I say something to a motherfucker, of course a motherfucker, she gonna come back to try to defend herself, but bitch, I don't give a fuck. I could care less, because you're dead ass wrong. 
You're wrong on all fucking corners of the end. You are wrong. You wrong for what you did to me. You want you want to talk that shit. You didn't need me. You didn't need you needed me, bitch. Cause you thought you was gonna have a fresh story to tell. But then you figure you didn't need me. You can still ride on this bullshit <laughs> and make up your to be story that you made up. Then you come after Odin like the fuck he owe you something. We don't owe you shit. Nobody owes you shit. You didn't owe me to tell me about your book. You really didn't. But because we were talking in connection to doing something, if you was a respectful bitch or had any morals or self-respect for yourself, even out, you knew I was going to curse you out and say something. But just to say, look, I told her I was going to do it. You ain't say shit to me. And that to me is a grimy, rotten ass bitch. You grimy, you rotten, and you dirty. And anybody that comes in contact with you, they are not safe. And I don't mean like you're going to hurt them or something. I'm just talk speaking generally. They are not safe. They can. You are not to be trusted, bitch. At all. So, you know, I understand where you coming from. And like I said to you, thank you for being a friend. Because you ain't never stand. They get on. They talk all that shit about you. You a rat lover. This, that, and the other. But I'm going to tell y'all one motherfucker thing. He got respect, morals, and principles out this motherfucker. More than a lot, more than a lot of motherfuckers. Absolutely. And like I said, he didn't tell me shit when I told him. He was like, Miss Gilmore, I, I I know about it. You know what I'm saying? I just ain't know how to say it to you or whatever, but it was coming out. Simple as that. He didn't lie. He ain't try to backdoor it or nothing. He straight out said, yeah, I do know about it. And I think that was fucked up. And I told her that you was not going to like it. But she come around to her, tell her motherfucker, well, I ain't, I mean, well, she'll see it when it come out. So now, bitch, it's out and it's free. So get ready to sell your motherfucking ass to back that, that, back that money up that you're not going to get. And furthermore, while while we ending this broadcast, she checked me about. It. Oh, you knew about this book, this and that and other. Duh, 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 duh. Like I felt like she put me in a position to have to defend myself. You threw me in the cross with all of this and being drugged. Who are you talking about? Wait a minute, who? Wait a minute, who are you talking about? Me or her? Miss T, you see, you see, you see what I'm saying? Okay. Like, like, that's all right. We ain't gonna get to that. That we we didn't already say we ain't gonna get to that, man. But like I say, she threw me in the cross for no apparent reason. Every I, I felt like at one point everybody was mad at me about something. And that's why I kept telling people, you're mad at the wrong person. <laughs> you're mad at the wrong person. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Like you say, exactly. I, I took accountability. When you asked me about it, I said, yeah, I knew I this and that and the other. You feel me? Blah, say, please, shit, that's all I can do. If I lied to you, then what that make me? Complicit in what's going on. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Like, like you was in on the shit too. That, that if you wouldn't have said when I and you didn't, he didn't renege. Now a reneging motherfucker is when I call him up and they say, "Uh, well, let me call you right back. Let me call you right back. I'm I'm doing something real quick." He didn't do none of that. When I called him, I said, "Oh, hold the fuck up. You know about this shit that she wrote on Slim and this motherfucking fake ass book?" This, and I started revving off. He was like, "You know what, Miss Gilmore?" Yes, I do. And I didn't know how to come and tell you what was going on, but it was going to come out. I just had to figure out he did not renege at all. So that that's that I still call I, that's a friend. He just like he said, he didn't know how to tell me, but he told her specifically that I was not going to like the shit. He asked her, did she talk to me about it? Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I, I I knew what it was immediately. You know what I mean? Like, when I heard from you, when I heard from her, when I read it, I said, "Oh shit, man, it's about to be some shit behind it." That's the first thing I said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the first thing I, the second thing I thought was, "Damn, did she know about this?" Because I knew I opened that relationship up between the two of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, y'all have been supporting right. each other online, back and forth, and this and that and the other, but. Like I said earlier, once I opened that relationship up between y'all, it was between y'all. I didn't know what the fuck y'all was doing, talking right. about going through. Right. 
planning on doing. So shit, for all I knew, before you did that shit, you could have knew. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I, we never, we never, I, the, the, the situation about my son's father was dead. When we first talked, I told her how I felt that was dead. So she went on to per, per, proceed, like I said, to go get the dude and we did the Zoom or whatever. And I dated that with him too. So I thought, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we was on a mutual understanding that I have I had no knowledge of or I couldn't have even thought that she was gonna come up and post print this shit like that in that book about my peoples. Never did I ever think, never and yeah, if she'd have said something to me, like I said, I would we'd have been got into it. We would have been it wouldn't have took this motherfucking long because soon as she would have said she was doing it. She would have got cursed the fuck out. So you know, people, you know, I, I live, I'm I'm living, I'm living and I'm learning how people are with situations with this industry, what you call it industry shit or whatever the case may be. I have to learn this shit, you know, for my son with the rapping and all that. But and like I said, it's all good because every dog got their motherfucking day. It's all good. It's in all the good. Industry, yeah. A nigga will step on you in order to advance. Yes. And, and at yes. the same time, they stepping on you. They'll be reaching down to grab you, talking about how they're gonna help you. Hey, hey. Exactly. I'm, I'm gonna pull you up with me. I just need to step on your back for a minute and push just you down. I'm gonna hold your yes. hand while I'm doing it. You know, like but cut you it have, out, man. You, you, you business, gotta be business, strong, business. you know. You, they tell me all the time, you know. What I'm saying I didn't, I didn't face so much shit. I'm strong with that shit, and I'm strong, will minded. Nobody is going to change my mind about a motherfucking thing. You can't. You're not going to. I'm not one that can be manipulated by nothing. And when I start seeing shit that ain't right, I'ma start stepping up and saying something to your ass. I, I can't, I don't hold all that shit with me because it's not necessary. So when I start saying shit that's not right, I steps up and say something. That's why I said, when she said what she said, I went directly at her. Directly at her. I ain't no, I, ain't, I don't have time too old to sit up here and go back and forth and play. And no, let me clear this up. I'm not getting on social media. I'm not getting online going back and forth with a motherfucking soul saying nothing about my son's father. I got another alternative. Thank you. I'm not. So we're not going to keep doing this. I did not want to get on social media to say nothing to this bitch. Say nothing. I, like I said, I really try and I tried hard to not even mention or say nothing about it. But when you sitting up here throwing shots like you 12, bitch, you ask for what the fuck you got. I said what I had to say directly to her. I directed it to her. I'm not an indirect female. If I make a post, trust me, you're going to know I'm talking about you because I already said what the post said. I said it to you. All that indirect shit, we too grown for that. We're too grown for that. No, nah, we're not doing that. And then they keep throwing you in there talking about you, your wife and all that. No, nah, bitch, we're not going to play these games. You're the one that's mad. So you deal with it. Because as I can see, me and Odin fine over this motherfucker. I'm not worried about what you said. Everybody know it's a lie. Everybody, And he probably laugh at it. Everybody know it's a motherfucking lie. But it's the disrespect. You don't know him to po post his name no motherfucking way. So you figure, oh, YouTube and everybody else doing him a do it too. Bitch, no. Negative. I wasn't encountered with everybody else on YouTube, bitch. I was encountered with you. So that's the difference, ho. And yeah, respect I... Respect at the end of the day. It seems yeah. to me, in, in closing this out, because we've been here for a couple hours, it's starting to get dark on you where you at. Or oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, and I got something. That I'm going to advertise something real quick while you close out. Go ahead. Um, Respect is respect. If you got my number, if you can reach out to me for something, then you can reach out to me to let me know about something. You feel me? If you can reach out to me it's to ask exactly. me for something, ask me to do something, ask me to be a part of something, to tell you a story even, then you can reach out to me and say, hey, I'm doing this. Especially exactly. knowing how you feel about a certain situation. 
Mm -hmm. So, y'all, in closing out, I want to say, you know, I my, I have my new lounge keys. I got those Thursday. I will be working on my new lounge, but in in event of that, my son um has his brand out. It's called Silk A F N F Supports. And I also have my goddaughter. She has something called weed smoothie. She was so happy today. She was like, you got your um certificates, your certificate to go get the weed? Oh, yeah, 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 auntie. We we, we, we good with this guy, mama. We good. So, y'all, I'm doing other things. You know, I will be, uh, yes, I will be selling the weed or whatever the case may be. But legally, um, legally, <laughs> legally, legally, <laughs> legally. So yeah. upon all this other bullshit ass drama, I have my life and we, we're just living our life out here. We're not, you know, we're, we're not so explicit and so sustainable on anything about his father. I wish everybody the best in their life, man. Like, just try to live the rest of your days out here free of all the bullshit, the stress, and the drama because this shit was unnecessary as it is of a lot of things. People, just please get in your space for yourself. Stop trying to re reinvent and outlive or live of other people's fame in their name, man. Eh? And I'm not speaking about you because you have actual videos or audios of this man talking. So, you know, I'm going to count you out of this because I know what you have, but all these people were all these made up stories and this and this and this. At the end of the day, that shit is going to come to haunt you. Please believe me. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. But karma is a bad bitch. And she strikes at any given time. Like, please try to learn how to have self-respect for yourself. It's not always about a fucking dollar. Everybody out here is struggling. I had a little struggler. Struggle. Everybody out here, you struggle, you go through something. Learn to pull yourself up on your own shit, your own amenities, things about yourself. It's self-preservation out this motherfucker. And with that being said, good night. Thanks, Odin. No doubt. <laughs>